so we're going to watch this video together. YouTube's biggest copyright troll just outed himself, uh, which should be relatively interesting because I'm a YouTuber. Uh, you guys are watching YouTube. Everyone should be concerned about this because YouTube copyright is um, oppressive. And it's not YouTube's fault at all. It's the system with which they have to adhere legally as being a um, content platform. Essentially, if somebody files a copyright um, takedown notice, is what it's technically called, YouTube only has to verify that it looks legit because you're filing it under the penalty of perjury, which is uh, a crime if you if you lie, if you don't uh, believe that this is copyright infringement, etc. Um, so YouTube just says, okay, copyright, um, yeah, we'll take down the video. They give you as the creator seven days to file a counterclaim at which time the uh, person who filed the initial claim can inst can initiate court proceedings to sue you uh, for having done so, as it's, you know, their believed copyright. Um, and if they don't, then the copyright strike goes away. But most people obviously don't file a counterclaim because they're scared of being sued uh, as a result. Nobody wants to go to court for something like this. So what people do is they send you copyright takedown notices, and then you get three of them, as a YouTuber, your channel gets banned. Your career is over. So it's a real big deal, especially if people are, are submitting uh, frivolous or just fake copyright and takedown notices. There has been a little change to this, whereby YouTube have instituted a system where if you are filing a copyright takedown, you can give the person you're filing against seven days to remove the offending material and if they do, they will not get a strike. But there's two boxes you can tick as somebody filing one of these claims. There's give them seven days and don't be a complete dickhead. Or there is take down immediately. Take down immediately if YouTube agrees, that's a strike. Strikes expire in 90 days. Um, but if you get three of them, while you know any of, uh, any of them are active, you're banned, you're gone, that's it. Uh, good night, essentially. So let's watch, uh, big intro. Somebody who I think might be the biggest copyright troll in the history of YouTube just outed himself. Let's talk about how we get to this point, who this person is, and what this all means for YouTube. So this is iShow Speed. He is the biggest, most watched streamer on all of- Man, look at the views as well. Uh, also, this dude gets banned constantly. Been banned for racism, sexism, I don't, I don't know how he's still on YouTube, to be honest, um, because some of the clips that I've seen of this guy, obviously I'm not saying deplatform people, but if if he's about to say iShow Speed has been copyright taking, taking down hundreds of videos, thousands of videos, that's not trolling, by the way, that's ruining people's lives. So if you throw that into the mix, I don't know, man, how do you stick up for somebody who's deplatforming other people with strikes? YouTube right now. He's got over 15 million subscribers. He is a grinder. He's been streaming almost every day since the summer of 2020. He makes a ton of content. He's been making some music videos lately that have gotten over 77 million views, 29 million views. He is extremely popular. He's blown up. There was one point in the summer of 2021 where in 14 days, he gained 1.4 million subscribers. Damn. He is an absolute phenomenon. He understands content like almost nobody else. But iShow Speed is also really controversial. He's been in a bunch of different controversies where he's like almost gotten canceled. He was brought on to British TV. They invited him over to watch a football match with them. And they actually rescinded their invite and cut all the clips with him out. When somebody told them all of these like cancelable things that he's done, I discovered Speed uh, about a year ago, and I ended up making a video called Uncancelable I Show Speed, which I basically wanted to show. Is this dude wearing an FTX shirt? By the way, can you even can you even see him? Um, I'll I'll put me in the top. I'll put me in the top. Uh, by the way, um, as it. As it happens, I can't actually see my OBS, which I usually would be able to because I'm on one monitor right now. Because when I traveled to Thailand, I brought with me a monitor. Um, and when I set up my computer, it didn't work. So I went and bought a new one, a really expensive one, a Samsung Odyssey Neo G9, which is like a two grand massive uh, ultra wide monitor. And then I've had it three weeks and I woke up today and it just doesn't turn on anymore. So I'm stuck. I'm back to one monitor. So I have to like tab out to OBS how he overcame all the different times. But he's wearing an FTX shirt, I think. <laughs> ...where he was almost cancelled. 
because I think his rise to fame has been really cool and interesting and something I thought would be cool to talk about. But he does wade into controversy a lot. It's also worth mentioning he's very young. He's about 19, yeah, maybe 20 guy. years old now. His age has always been kind of a mystery, but he recently did finally confirm that he's actually 19. He used to tell people he was much older than he actually was. But in the summer of 2022, a lot of YouTubers who were talking about... I'm getting copyright claimed for the iShow Speed clip in my latest video, disputed it, and it got rejected in 10 minutes by Thumb Media Affiliate, who I don't even think exists. Am I getting screwed over, or is this legit? Puts my channel at risk of getting a strike. Um, so... So, so copyright claim and copyright strike. D bear in mind, guys, I'm talking from my own experience here, and I might be wrong. Um, so don't take this like 100% factual, but I'm fairly sure copyright claim and copyright strike are two completely different things. I don't think a copyright claim is even at risk of getting you a strike. It, I, a copyright claim is usually something that's automated that... Um, is within YouTube system where somebody's saying, I own this music or this, you know, this thing. And therefore I'm not allowing, I, I'm allowing them to use it. I'm not taking it down, but I am entitled to all their ad revenue for using said thing. I think this is bullshit personally, um, because for instance, I could make a 20 minute video about, you know, a bunch of random things. And within that 20 minute video, there could be a 10 second clip or even less of somebody's copyrighted music and they can claim the well they will if the claim goes through they claim every penny that that entire video makes for five seconds worth of audio that um they have the copyright claim to but i i, I don't think a copyright claim is anything to do with a copyright strike um so i'm not sure why this is here to be honest but i, I could be wrong maybe he's about to explain but i show speed started to get copyright claims Here's the first one I could find from a YouTuber called Omni. Now, Omni does commentary. You can see his thumbnail down there. He makes great videos. His face is on the screen. He reacts to things. He's not just reposting clips. With that said, he tweeted, I'm getting copyright claimed for the iShow Speed clip in my latest video. Disputed it and got rejected in 10 minutes by Thumb Media Affiliate, who I don't think even exists. Am I getting screwed over or is this legit? Puts my channel at risk of getting a strike. And Omni is right. If you get claimed by a company who says that they own your content and they're going to take your money, you can dispute it, but that does put you at risk of getting a strike. Oh, so di disputing it is what puts you at risk then. That's interesting. I've, I've never disputed a copyright claim because why would I? If somebody does own the audio, I can disagree with the system. I don't know if it's YouTube has to do this. I can disagree with the system of them taking the entire ad revenue from the video but I can't disagree with the fact that they own that music or whatever because, you know, it m maybe it is theirs. Um, it, usually this happens to me when I react to, like, Kickstarter videos and somebody's it took some licensed music that maybe they have the license to, but maybe I don't. Or maybe they don't have the license to, but they don't care about monetizing their videos because they're not making money from that uh, on their YouTube channel or whatever. Or if it's on Kickstarter, it's not got ads on it anyway, so it's not going to matter. Uh, but I've never disputed a copyright claim because, you know, I don't own the copyright, so. So you have to be very careful as a YouTuber if you're going to fight back against this kind of thing. Interesting. And as you'll that. see throughout this story, a lot of people just roll over and give up because it is terrifying. Throughout the summer, more and more YouTubers continue to get claimed with YouTuber Jalen, who does commentary saying, these fuckheads claim my video and rejected my appeal and it's not even a valid claim whatsoever. They even claim parts of my original video. They didn't even copyright it correctly. Another YouTuber, Papa Gut, says, something like this happened to me on my iShow Speed video. Hopefully. T so, wait, so if he's. So this is like a really nefarious way to do it then. If he's claiming all the videos, it's not that he's taking people's videos down, he's just taking all of their money. So anybody who even talks about him in a video, any of those videos is making him money. That's, I mean, that's one way, I guess. If you do that to thousands of videos, probably a nice amount of money that he's getting. Uh, I would say that this is incredibly ridiculous and damaging, and nobody should be doing this, but 
We'll see what happens, I guess. Team YouTube can do something more about these blatantly bogus claims. Mm -hmm. YouTuber Internet AJ says, I got striked and disputed it, and they are fighting it. So these claims were very prevalent throughout the The problem is a lot of people mistake striked and claimed. You always have to, like, actually, you know, get into the nuts and bolts here of which one it is, because they are two totally different things. A strike is way worse than a claim. Summer. And but on August 11th, 2022, I woke up to this beautiful email in my inbox. I love getting love letters from YouTube. This email was not that. They said, hi, Jabroni. A copyright owner using Content ID has claimed some material in your video. Your video is live in the visibility settings you selected remain applied to it, but it is now either being monetized by the copyright owner or they have chosen to receive analytics about it. This is not a strike. It doesn't affect your account status, but here's the video. It was copyrighted by DRM Protection for Cardigan Media by Aegis TM, claimed by Thumb Media Affiliate. So they didn't just choose to get the analytics. They chose to take all the revenue from my video, of course, which they had not? done with everyone else up to this point that I had encountered. Yep. They're not copyright striking. They're just claiming. Claiming means keep your video up. Give us the money. Win win, right? Wrong. These people don't own the content that I posted. The video I posted and a lot of the other people in this story posted are fair use videos. Yeah, this is the thing. It's it's completely the the problem is fair use is a defense in court. Fair use is not a defense to YouTube. They can and sometimes do, and I will talk about this a little bit in the future because there's something coming up that relates to me and copyright stuff. Um, they can and do look at something if it's very serious and deem whether or not it is fair use or not, but it is not um, a requirement of what they they should be doing because, again, if you file a copyright notice of any kind towards somebody, you are um, under penalty of perjury saying, this is legit, I do own this. And then obviously when people... If you're doing it illegitimately like this, you are just banking on the fact that nobody um, fights you on it. Because the minute somebody disputes this and then they say, uh, oh no, it's definitely ours and double down on it. If you just sue them, like they're going to get fucking wrecked because they don't own that content. It is fair use and they are abusing the system. So if someone big enough was to have this happen to them and they fought back and took them to court over this, they would absolutely win. Because there's no way you're winning. If you have a full video and you just react to a little part of somebody's video, and even if it's a full video, if you react to a video, it is by definition transformative. Um, it's not a market substitute, at least as far as I understand it with the legal precedent that we already have in the US, um, which is where YouTube's based. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. People need to obviously fight back against this. Videos, which are completely allowed under United States copyright law. You are allowed to show a piece to critique it. Yeah. You are allowed to show someone else's clip while you're doing a commentary video, especially if you're reacting to it, especially yeah. if you're editing it. Yeah. There is so much nuance that goes into this, but these Cardigan Media and Aegis TM people seem to just be claiming literally anyone who mentioned I Show Speed or talked about him for even a moment. I wonder if this video will get claimed. I wonder. That'll be interesting to see. And when I posted this, I took it to Twitter. So let's see what happened over there. I said, there's a company called Thumb Media Affiliate that's been striking commentary YouTubers who talk about iShow Speed. I'm not sure if this company is actually affiliated with Speed or if they're just falsely striking videos. I DM Speed to see if he can confirm. Again, falsely using the term speed. Uh, speed, no, not that one. Strike. This is not, this is not a strike. It's a claim. I, I just, I'm not being too anal about this. I'm just saying it because it really does matter because they're, they're serious things, but a strike is vastly different legally and in, in how it's going to um, affect you and your channel than what a claim is. A claim is uh, nowhere near as, as serious. Confirm. And that's true. I DM'd Speed. I DM'd Cardigan Media. I DM'd everyone I possibly could to try and get a Nobody hold of Speed replied. and see if this is legit. Nobody would answer me. I couldn't get a hold of anyone at all. And it seemed like I was just screwed, right? So I had a decision to make. I could either roll over and let the claim stay on my channel, Fight taking it. all the revenue Fight from the it, video boy. I posted. I didn't know if the video would take off or not. I didn't know if it would get a lot of views. And to me, it wasn't about the money. It never was about the money. To me, it was about the principle of the whole thing. Yeah, like, good man. I yeah. made something. I put work into it. Yeah. Whatever comes, I should get it. Not yeah. somebody else You're who had right. nothing to do with it. 
And the thing that's really screwed up about YouTube's copyright system is when you get claimed like this, they don't have to provide any information to whether or not they're even a legitimate or a real company. So this created all of this speculation about all these people saying, hey, I'm getting claimed. I don't know if this company is even affiliated. The thing is, is again, I will say on YouTube's behalf, because this is incredibly nuanced and I understand maybe because he's speaking off the cuff, he's not, you know, giving it the nuance it deserves or the explanation. It's not YouTube system per se. It's just legally the confines of what YouTube has to work in. Um, I, 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 this doesn't, it doesn't benefit YouTube to be dealing with this. They don't want to deal with it uh, whatsoever. It's just that they, they have to deal with it. Could they provide more information? I, legally, I don't know. Um, you do have to provide quite a bit of information, but as long as, again, they can confirm that you are saying, uh, I, I own this, and this is my company. Like, what else are they going to do? Um, they don't have the resources to be running down th the minutiae of every single copyright claim and copyright strike because th these go through, like, hundreds of thousands of those probably every month. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a, a problem with the legal confines of, of what they're operating within as a content host. Affiliated with iShow Speed. And this kind of came to a boiling point because people were really upset. A lot of people thought that their favorite YouTubers were being claimed by some random company that had nothing to do with anything. Yeah. I posted video showing how it looks to a YouTuber when you get claimed. If you're going to dispute it, you have to give whoever claimed you your full name and yeah. address. You literally have to give them your docs so that they can sue you if they so choose yeah. if you dispute the claim. So they give you nothing. And in return, you give them your literal docs. So they so this is different for a strike. When they strike you, they do have to give you their legal information. They have to, if, if it's a lawyer working on behalf or a company working on behalf of the copyright owner, they still have to give their full name. They, the organization they're representing, their full name um, and the details of, of where you could contact them, they, they have to give you that stuff. So maybe a claim's different. Um, again, I, legally, I don't know whether this is something that they're working with in the system or whether YouTube's at fault on this one uh, of not having to give you certain information. I, I'm not sure. They can serve you with a lawsuit if they decide that their yeah, this claim needs is still to valid. Be the case. And guess what? Less than 24 hours later, I got this email. Hi, Jabroni. After reviewing your dispute, Thumb Media Affiliate has decided that their copyright claim is still valid. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's, it's useless, right? Great system. So based on absolutely nothing, the claimant can just decide that their claim is still valid. I wish... Yeah, it's because, again, YouTube's not the legal arbiter here. They just have to... They just have to, to be the go-between, essentially. This is up to you and up to them to, to take it to court, essentially. If somebody's breaking the law, YouTube's not going to arrest you, are they? Like, that that's the problem with it. They just don't have the power... Um, to, to, they'd have to look into every single one like really deeply, which you can make, definitely make a point they should be doing, um, but it's just not feasible, is it, for anything the size of YouTube? I could decide that my counterclaim was valid. Why can't I decide that? It also is a liability issue. I, I know I'm talking a lot. It's probably going to be a very long reaction, but I do think this deserves like addressing. Um, it's a liability issue for any company like this. Um, if you're YouTube and you somebody fi files a claim... And they say, I own this. And YouTube says, okay, uh, we don't think this is actually um, right. This is definitely fair use. They have to be really nailed on um, to say that. Because if not, the company can then, if they do sue you, say, oh, well, YouTube left it up. You know, YouTube wouldn't adhere to this. And they're wrong, as proven by this court. Um, so that makes them liable because they are essentially saying, no, you don't own this. You don't have the legal right to take down this content so it is a liability problem for them and if they were to do that all the time somebody could definitely build a case and say um you know youtuber being um this kind of way about copyright and they shouldn't be because they're just a host so yeah liability problem i'm kind of freaking out at this point i'm like okay I i'm either gonna get sued and win and they're gonna have to pay my legal fees or i'm gonna get sued and lose and i'm gonna have my channel like deleted yeah that's why I, I don't why i'm everyone, scared so i start yeah. emailing lawyers in my area who do copyright law yeah. and trying to figure out how much money it would cost to defend myself from this it ain't cheap yeah, ladies and gentlemen yeah. let me tell you 
This is not a cheap lawsuit to try and defend yourself from. And it's also very difficult to really tell if something is fair use or not from a legal standpoint. Now I can sit and watch commentary videos all day long and say, yeah, that's obviously fair use, but Mm -hmm. is a judge going to see it the same way? Is a jury going to see it the same way? Am I really willing to pay the money for my dinky video to stand up in court? All of that. This is why the system's lopsided and also why the legal system is lopsided towards people who have money. Because most people, when they see something like that, are just going to be like, it's not even fucking worth it. Like, on principle, it's worth it. But is it worth potentially losing my channel, losing all my money, having to pay their legal fees? Lose? It's just not. It's just not. For 99.9% of people, that's why this shit works. Uh, it should be criminal. In fact, it probably is criminal that went out of my head because i was so mad and just on principle i was like i'm gonna fight this to the end i don't care i don't care i'm gonna fight it yeah and so i did why the twitter thread is relevant and important is not because of anything i said in it but because after i made that thread it got indexed on google because there weren't a lot of people talking about this yet and i got people reaching out to me from all over the place from from then until literally now YouTubers have been DMing me saying, I got claimed by speed. What do I do? On August 13th, I got this DM from a YouTuber. Middle of the conversation, they said, what's funny is the video got claimed. I trimmed out the clip and then they claimed the video again a few hours later, which is literally (laughs) just me talking over gameplay. I'm just not going to make videos about speed anymore. It is mad annoying. And that's what's wild about these claims. Usually when you get claimed on YouTube, it's by an automated system. It's by content ID. The copyright owner gets a list of videos that are using the content that they claim to own. They can just go through a checkbox and say, claim, claim, claim. Yeah, like I could show you this on YouTube. If somebody somebody reacts to one of my videos, it's a little bit iffy on if it shows up or not. If somebody reacts to my video and they don't add a lot of commentary, like if I'm reacting to this video... He's probably not going to get in his copyright section. Um, oh, you know, Kira, uh, this link reacted to your video, um, y- used your video or whatever. And the system usually tells you a percentage. How much of your video is their video as a percentage? So when I go into my copyright, sometimes there's like 100%, which is literally somebody has taken my video, downloaded it, and uploaded it with no commentary, um, no camera on screen, no reaction, nothing. It's just a one-to-one, my video downloaded and up- uploaded. Some people even put a watermark in the corner of the screen as if they fucking own the video, so other people can't download it and do the same thing, which is just get out of the, on that one. The, the, you know, they stole my video, and then they're like, oh, here's a watermark, so no one can steal my video that I stole. Um, but if some people react, if if, say, the video is 20 minutes long originally, and theirs is 22 minutes, so they hardly did fuck all. It'll, gi- it'll give like a percent of, of how much they added to it. For those, I don't copyright strike them. I don't send any notices or anything. For people who 100% my video, no commentary, nothing else, I send them the seven-day notice. Um, just take down the video and nothing's going to happen. Just, you know, don't have my video on your channel. I've never sent anyone a copyright strike. Now, some of those seven-day notices have resulted in a strike because the person elected not to take down the video um, that they took. But obviously, if somebody's sending out like massive amounts of these manually, like going through all their claim section and sending out uh, all of these, that's wild. It's all on one screen. The claims we were getting last summer were manual claims, which means somebody was going to our videos and manually clicking the claim this video button which is even more infuriating because whatever they decided was their copyright wasn't even flagged by a bot. It was literally some person who I believe was just typing in I show speed into the search bar and claiming every single video that wasn't posted by one of speed's channels. So I fought back and I put my channel on the line. Fuck yeah, bro. And Good on job. August 15th, I got yet another email from nice. YouTube. Hi, Jabroni. Good news. After reviewing your dispute, Thumb Media Affiliate has decided to release their copyright claim on your YouTube video. Oh my God, I was so relieved. And I felt like the weight of the world was like taken off of my ass because- Yeah, usually it is just bullying. It's just bullying because they know that most people hear like, if you, for most people, right? If somebody said, your video is here, it's probably not going to get like millions of views and blow up your career and go amazingly well and earn you tons of money. Um, 
But if you press this button, you might get sued and have your life ruined. How many people are going to press that button? Almost nobody, other than this dude, apparently, uh, other than this absolute top G. Um, most people are just going to be like, oh, I'll just take down the video. It's whatever. I, I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. It's not worth it, right? Um, so that's why this shit works on people. It's, it, it's really pathetic, to be honest. I was so... If it comes out that this is iShow Speed doing this, I'm just going to lose my mind. Um, but there is a larger topic to be discussed here about YouTube in general that right now... Um, I saw a very interesting video about this uh, not long back. Um, it was something about how to steal a YouTube video. And this is true. There are people who make a living from uploading videos of popular streamers like Hassan, uh, Asmongold, people like that. And what these, they're referred to as clips channels. And they're usually third parties. They're not affiliated whatsoever with the streamer. And there's usually a lot of them, a lot of different clips channels. And some of them earn really good money from just using somebody else's content. And a lot of the times they're just allowed to do it. The problem is, is that some of these clip channels are run by the same person or group of people that do multiple Twitch streamers, and they are copyright striking and removing their competition. So get this one through your head. They're unaffiliated with the creator. They are not the creator. Uh, they don't own anything in those videos. They're watching a stream, or probably not even watching a stream, um, just taking a download of somebody else's stream cutting like oh they they watched a youtube video at three three hours and 20 minutes until three hours and 45 minutes cutting that section out uploading it to youtube putting a thumbnail and a title on it earning money from it and then somebody else is doing the exact thing they're doing with the exact media and that first person is copyright striking that person and getting their channel banned based on something they don't own and they're doing it all over and they're basically farms of people earning millions, and I, I am talking millions of dollars per year in ad revenue off content they don't own while getting other people trying to do the same thing banned. Um, it, something needs to be done about this shit. Uh, obviously, somebody needs to sue these people, but who's going to do it? The small clips channels that have been banned? Probably not. It needs to be the creators that probably take it upon themselves. These millionaires, by the way, um, who, who have these Twitch channels, they probably need to be the ones to do something about this worried about what was going to happen to my channel. The interesting thing was the same day they released claims against a bunch of YouTubers, including Internet and Jay, who I had been talking to behind the scenes about this. Nice. And it made me wonder what was really going on at this Cardigan Media Aegis TM agency. I started digging a little bit to see the background of these companies. And what I found was pretty interesting. On July 25th, someone had DM Thumb Media on Instagram and asked if they own the copyright of iShow Speed. And they replied saying, yes, Thumb Media manages copyright on behalf of iShow Speed. And people in Speed's community wanted to know, are you actually claiming all these people's videos? Are you actually copyright claiming everyone who talks about you on YouTube? Because that would be wild. So Speed finally responded after it got upvoted in his subreddit. Oh, all right, Chad, then where's the... All right, I'll watch the video again then, Chad. What's the video, bro? Like, oh my gosh, dog. Bro, that is... What are you A company called Thumbini is copyright striking all the... Chad, how do I... Like, Chad, how do I stop this from happening? Like, because it's not happening to me. Like, Chad, like, how do I, like, stop this from happening? The fuck? Like, I don't get it, bro. X noobs? Okay, all right, bro. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Ooh, no, it is just... So that was the clip. He said, how do I stop this from happening? Because it's not happening to me. So he's not in, so somebody's just doing it on his behalf. I I would get I guess we'll find out. I, I I don't know. I don't know where to go on this one. Me. How do I stop this from happening because it's not happening to me? And he he acted really surprised. He acted really upset about it. And so I think that's what his fans would have expected. They were upset. They didn't want all this stuff being claimed. And after that clip we just watched went live, Dexerto posted this article that says I show speed I've heard so many people uh, talk about this website and everyone has a different pronunciation. I'm fairly sure it's pronounced Deserto. 
but it's Dexerto in spelling. I, I think it's called Deserto. Calls out company for false copywriting fans who post his YouTube clips. I, I don't think that's what happened there. I think he saw that and said, wow, that's crazy. How do I stop this from happening? It doesn't happen to me. Notice that he didn't deny. He didn't say, no, that's not me. Because if he were to say oh, that, no. then everyone who's fighting back against them could point to that clip and say, look, he said it wasn't him. You guys are false copywriting. Uh, yeah, it, I also don't think, I, I don't, I don't think he's thinking about like uh, covering himself here, right? Or am I going to be wrong? Is is I show speed actually doing this? That's illegal. It's literally illegal to do in the United States. You can yeah. be fined twenty five hundred dollars for every video that you false copyright. Damn. It is a criminal offense, and so they would be shut down. There's absolutely no way that YouTube would allow them to continue to claim people, right? But he didn't say that, right? This got the attention of a lot of people on Twitter with Jake Lucky saying, I show speed is called at a company known as Thumb Media for false copywriting people who post his clips. The company has been claiming multiple YouTubers videos for months now with nobody seemingly knowing who they are. And this was the general sentiment was that these people are just copyright trolls. They're just thieves. They don't actually represent speed. One commenter said, it's most likely not speed's fault. That company will take unclaimed media that they know is going to go viral and upload it for themselves for content ID claims. Same exact thing happened to me with another company. They count on creators creating viral videos that they get the revenue off of. You just have to fight them. They will fight back as long as they can, but they will never take you to court. Yeah, Speed needs to wrong. sue. Fake copyright claims have been going on for years with YouTube, and they continually show how little they care about their platform and creators. Again, I will just, I know it's not popular to go to bat for YouTube, but I do feel like somebody does have to bring up the fact that this is not something that they can really police without, again, um, making themselves the arbiter of, of what is um, a, a legit claim or not, which they can only look into it so far. So, yeah, I, I would love to see this be better, but at the same time, I don't, I don't have the answer sway. Uh, I think legally something obviously needs to change about this. So just a few days later, Jake Lucky got the opportunity to ask Speed about all of this on stream. Nice. But then, uh, on a lighter note, this whole thumb media situation. Did you hear that, Speed? Can you talk about that? Oh, uh, what'd you say? Can you talk about that? Move on. Can't he said you talk can't talk about, about that. Oh, Interesting. Okay. All right, no reason, no reason. All right. So did you hear him there? He didn't say they don't represent me. I don't know who that is. You know, I feel like we're leading to the point that they do because it feels like all of this is leading to that. You know, they're trolls. He said, I can't talk about that. Move on. Keep that in mind because Speed's fans definitely didn't move on for the next several months. Actually, up until today, I got constant DMs from YouTubers asking for help with their claims from Cardigan Media Aegis TM on any video talking about iShow Speed. I want to read you guys a few of these now. I got one on August 26th that said, I am amongst the list of plug channels copyrighted by Thumb Media Affiliate. It's screwed up. These are only some of the hundreds of videos they have copyrighted from me. Another Damn. one from August 26th, the same day. Hey man, similar thing happened to me with my short. Wondering how the claim went. It seems it may be an offshore company owned by Speed, but I'm not entirely sure. November 25th, I got a DM that said, Hello, sir, big fan. Wonder if you ever experienced with Thumb Media Affiliates copyright. It seems that all the creators on YouTube got false copyright claimed when posting iShow Speed content, including me. I got three false copyright claims under Thumb Media Affiliates name, and I wonder if you can help me with this situation. Here's another one from December 8th. It says, Thumb Media just claimed speed content of me on a four second clip of him screaming on my video. Here's a DM I got Jesus. December 16th that said, yo, Jabroni TV, hit me up ASAP. I replied, what happened? Did you get copyright claimed by Thumb Media? <laughs> yeah, I saw you tweeted about it. Did you ever get that appeal to work? December 29th, I got a DM that said, yo, Jab, I know you don't know me, but please, I need your help. I also know you suffered a copyright claim on your iShow Speed video with Thumb Media affiliate. I also heard that you won the dispute. Please, how can I remove this false copyright claim on my video? January 17th, I got a DM that said, hey, bro, how are you? I have to ask you something. Thumb Media has sent me a copyright claim. Is it fake? I said, it's real. I think they actually represent speed, but I don't know for sure. If your video is truly fair use and you can fight it in the YouTube studio, if not, don't fight it. And they said, I use iShow Speed. Good advice. Absolutely good advice, which is what I was talking about with the music earlier. If you use music in a video and it gets copyright claimed, no point fighting it if you don't own the copyright. For instance, if, say, 
um, I subscribe to a service called Premium Beat where I license music, five of them every every month um, for a set price, and then I get to use them in perpetuity because I have the license for it. I bought them, uh, bought those licenses from the, the thing. If I then use one of those in a video and some random person or one of the companies claims that and says, oh, we own the license to that, um, I will then turn around and fight it because I'll say, oh, I actually have the license. Uh, I should be in your system that I do because I bought it on the website and it has your YouTube link and everything. But just in case you don't, I have it here and then they'll release the claim unless they're trolling and, and they don't actually, uh, they're don't they not actually the company and can't see that record, can't see the license that I've got downloaded with my channel name and everything on it with the transaction. Um, but that's when you would use the, the counterclaim notice. If you don't own that song, you saying, oh, no, this is a fake claim you're wrong like it's just how it works Speeds, Instagram so very good pictures advice only and it was a short youtube video i got four million views off that video i said it's up to you i'm not a lawyer unfortunately but they backed down after i disputed them two times january 23rd i got a message that said hello there's this new entity false copyright id claiming i show speed content called cardigan media by ages tm i saw your tweet encouraging creators to dm you about this are there any updates on how to handle this I have a creative I show speed trolling video perfectly under fair use with 2 million views and climbing, which has been claimed in its 13 minute entirety. Damn, bro. These DMs have never stopped rolling into me and my tweet didn't even have that much reach. There are probably dozens, if not hundreds of YouTubers yeah. who have had their videos claimed. Now, some channels who are uploading this kind of thing are just re-uploading Speed's clips. Yeah, there absolutely will be some valid claims. But a lot of people are doing commentary type videos and yeah. everybody's getting claimed no matter what, which is completely illegal under United States law. It is illegal to abuse copyright this way. The thing that stinks about YouTube is YouTube has no way to report it. There's no message you can send them. There's no flag you can click that says, hey. I mean, there is a way, not for YouTube, but again, you're bypassing YouTube on this one. You just go to the legal system. Like that's, that's what you you do. Like, that's how you solve things like this. It's a legal problem. Hey, YouTube, these people are abusing your copyright system. They are just mass copyright claiming anybody who even mentions I show speed. They'll probably claim this video. There has to be something. They'll probably claim YouTube this one as well. And speed fans wanted him to speak out more directly and say, these people don't represent me. YouTube, I need you to do something about it. But instead, we got this clip just a couple of oh, days no. ago. YouTube asks y'all to stop spamming about these emails uh, about the cardigan and the thumb media affiliate. That is me. It's one of the. Why, bro? Why would you ever admit to this? I mean, one. Why would you be doing it in the first place? But why are you gonna admit to it? Let y'all know. Everybody know that. So, would y'all guys please stop? Thank y'all. Love y'all. There it is. It's been him the entire time. So the whole time people were saying, this company is fake. They don't represent Speed. Speed would never do that. It's him. The entire time, this guy, who's a multi-millionaire. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Like, you could understand if this was just a nobody, right? Somebody who, who was just playing the system to earn a couple grand off, off claiming people's videos or whatever. Um, I could sort of understand that. It's still obviously legal and, and reprehensible and you shouldn't be doing it. But why, when you're really famous and you're earning so much money, would you be stealing ad revenue and making the lives of people who are the fans of you? Or, you know, just people having fair critique and fair, real fair use. People trying to make their own social media career, just like yours. And you're spending your time fucking with those people I, I i don't know man that's just really fucked up has been claiming anybody who even mentions him on youtube and not only does he he's not sorry he doesn't care he just wants you to yeah. shut up about it that's stop pretty fucking spamming disgusting, in my chat honest. about me claiming hundreds of people's videos why would you guys bring it up shut up and get back to the fucking content i can't wrap my head around why he thinks it's a good idea to copyright claim anybody who even mentions him. Yeah, now, don't insane. get me wrong. If I was a huge streamer and there were people just re-uploading my clips, I wouldn't feel guilty about claiming those videos. That's the point, right? If I was Hassan and 
somebody was claiming or somebody was uploading clips of of my my Twitch stream or whatever. One, I he could just Asmongold this. Like Asmongold had people doing the same thing, and he hired them to just do it for his own channel, and then he just pays them, you know, a percentage of the revenue. Uh, he gets a percentage of the revenue, as far as I'm aware. I don't know what the splits are, but I assume that's their arrangement. Um, and then he doesn't have to do anything. He earns money. They earn money. Everyone's, you know, everything is good. Everyone's eating. Um, and, and that's fine. But I'm fairly sure he still doesn't copyright other people doing the same thing with clips channels of him. Um, but if I was Hassan, you know, I'd have people doing the same thing that I you've got Asmongold doing. Or I'd have my own channel and hire somebody to do it in the first place that wasn't already a clip channel. Um, or I wouldn't feel bad claiming those videos because it's my content, right? You, you can't feel bad about that. Uh, I personally probably wouldn't be claiming people's videos. I'd go the other avenue, like I said, probably the Asmongold route. It would make the most sense. You might as well, you know, let everyone earn off of it and, and benefit from the, the fact that it's on YouTube if you're not going to do it yourself. Um but when it's people just talking about you using small clips of, of your content or whatever, yeah, that's fucked up, man. Yes, if all they're doing is taking my clips and re-uploading them and monetizing that, I wouldn't feel guilty about copyright claiming those. Would I do yeah. it? I don't know. Probably not, but I've never yeah, been in that situation, maybe. so I can't really say. Yeah. But for him to just claim commentary videos about him, I think is absurd. And then for him to react like this, this is like 10 times worse than, can we copy strike PewDiePie? And this has pretty much gone under the radar. This hasn't been talked about enough. And I think it's really important that I show Speed get the message that it's not okay to do this. Speed, you have to tell these people to stop claiming videos that are fair use. You have to tell these people. I mean, that's the entire point of the company existing is to fucking steal from people by doing this so what's he going to tell them like oh just stop existing please just, you know st stop doing this but again if they're not differentiating if they're manually claiming people's videos that don't even have him in it anymore after the the part's been trimmed out like they're obviously have no um idea of what the fuck they're doing they're just doing it to be malicious to stop breaking the law what they are doing and what you are doing, because they represent you, you just admitted that you pay them to do this, is illegal, okay? And YouTube, I'm gonna to talk to YouTube directly. You all have to put a stop to this. When I got copyright claimed by these people, I went through the entire process. I had to give them my real name. I had to give them my home address. I had to give them every way to contact me so they could serve me a lawsuit if they decided that they owned my video still. They had to provide nothing, absolutely nothing. I didn't get a link to their website. I didn't get any kind of digital signature saying, hey, it's actually them. Nothing, there's absolutely nothing. Literally anyone could do this. And so you have to forgive YouTubers and just people in general for thinking this is fake, this isn't real. All the people saying, oh, Speed should sue. And it's Speed's own fault for kind of egging those people on and giving them ammo and saying, what, how do I stop this? That doesn't uh, I, I just, I just don't know, man. I don't know. What was he going to say, though? Was he just going to admit it at the time? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he has done now, months later. But what was he going to say at the time? He's just going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this. Like... I don't know how fucking dumb you've got to be to do that, but I guess months later he did. It not happen to me. How do I stop this? He wanted them to take the fall for him, but I think finally the noise got so loud, his chat really just giving him a hard time and saying, Speed, you have to stop this. Put a stop to this. And he finally had to admit it. He finally had to admit it. Now, I don't think there's going to be nearly as much backlash against iShow Speed as there was against Alinity when she said, can we copy strike PewDiePie? Because I don't really think Speed's fans care. We're in a different era of the internet than back yeah. then. And it's just a different time. Like, to be honest, I don't know how many people actually care that I... Are people going to stop watching... Are people who watch iShow I Show Speed going to stop watching iShow Speed because other creators that they don't watch... They're having problems because of iShow Speed. I, it's a rhetorical question. I will answer it for you. Fuck no. They don't care. Why would they care? 
the, it's the cult of personality. It's especially for younger audiences, but just in general, the vast majority of people who watch a live streamer, um, it's it's part of their own personality. That's like I am an iShow Speed fan. Um, they don't give a fuck. A lot of them are probably too young to even know the ramifications or to even care because it's probably not something that's ever impacted any aspect of their life, any facet of their existence. So they probably don't even comprehend how fucked up this is as a, as a concept. Maybe they will when they're older, but by that time, they're probably not an iShow Speed fan. So they, they you know, don't fall into that group anymore. Um, yeah, people don't give a fuck. I show speed is stealing revenue from hundreds of videos when he's already a multimillionaire. Just from his ad revenue alone, he's making at least $250,000 a month. And he has sponsorships and he has merch and he has brand deals. It wouldn't surprise me if he has months where he makes a million dollars. Months, not years, months. And he's claiming every person who mentions him on YouTube. And I think we got to put a stop to this. And if I show speed won't listen, YouTube needs to fix its broken system. So please, guys, help me get YouTube's attention, and let's get this copyright system fixed once and for all. Well, I'm doing my part, I guess, Rea reacting to a video of somebody who got copyright claimed by our show speed, and this video will probably also get copyright claimed. So I'm doing my part. Uh, you guys are doing your part by watching, and I guess we'll see what happens with it. But really good video. Really enjoyed that. Um, really fucked up that this is this is happening. And like I say, this is happening all across YouTube constantly. I don't know what the solution is. I don't know if YouTube's at fault. I don't know if it's, well, it's definitely the legal system, of course. It's antiquated. Um, that needs to be changed. But I don't know how much wiggle room YouTube has on this. I don't know, you know, whether there's a couple lines that they, they could go across while still legally abiding by what they've got to, uh, to give us a little bit more information, to give us a way to fight back against this that's outside of the legal system, which, of course, again, is a very scary prospect. Uh, I don't know if that's on them. So I don't want to falsely attribute that to, to YouTube because everyone always does because it's big, bad YouTube. And while I don't necessarily disagree sometimes, um, I do think it needs to be discussed as a more like balanced, you know, who is the actual problem here? Um, we all know the real problem is I show speed. So fuck all that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out.